Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys are interested by the title of the name on the video. I hope you guys do enjoy it. So, um, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Laya. I am a 24 year old and I have four beautiful children, <laughs> which by the way, I do have a little guest today. I'm so sorry, I'm gonna throw my gum away. So, I do have one little guest and he is right here so come on in monty say hi hi and please behave okay i always behave okay so say hi hi dilo bien hello <laughs> okay so this is my first born my little baby boy my yeah. tiny boy so today I want to be sharing something with him and I want to tell him something that I've been hiding for a long, long time now. I think it's been like at least eight, nine weeks. I don't know. It's been really, really hard, but I'm pretty sure that he's like already got like, you know, a clue of what the fucks I'm going to tell him. Do you think something I'm going to tell you? Why? I hope it's fun. Huh? I hope it's okay. Why? I, I just want I just want to go do this. <laughs> you just want it to be over? <laughs> okay, so um I think everyone knows what I am about to tell him. Do you know what I'm gonna tell you? No. You don't know what I'm gonna tell you? Okay. So I'm gonna show it to him and let's see what his reaction is. Close your eyes. Don't open them, okay? Now, do not get mad. If you want to cry, it's okay. Okay? Mm-hmm. <laughs> come! You're supposed to come. <laughs> You're supposed to be on camera. Let me go again. What do you think? I'm tired of this. <laughs> what do you mean you're tired of this? <laughs> <laughs> and who said it's a girl? <laughs> what? That's all I have? <laughs> Look, if it's a boy, you're gonna have a little brother. And if it's a boy, I mean a girl, you're gonna keep being the little boy. Like the only boy. Isn't that cool? So tell me how do you feel? Are you mad at me? Hmm? I thought this is a prank. I'm not <laughs> You think it's a prank? You think it's a prank? Yes. No, look at it. This little tiny baby. You lied to me. When? When you said you were finished, when you said, when you came from KFC. From KFC? <laughs> what? What about KFC? When you came back, mm -hmm. you lied to me. Why? Because I went in the room and I saw you. What did you see? Your stomach. Oh, that I was bloated? Well, yeah, it's going already. You know I'm about to have it? When? Like in four months? No. Yeah, in September. No. And if it's a boy, you're gonna share rooms with him. No, no. Okay, so you want it to be a girl? No, I don't want anything. You don't want anything? But they're not yours, they're mine. I don't, I don't care, I don't want another one. Why? You don't love your sisters? I have too many. I already have three. <laughs> what's one more? Four. That's why, what's one more? You gotta more? have five kids. <laughs> so? So many. You're huh? struggling with four. <laughs> <laughs> but you're gonna help me. How? I'm just kidding. So you're mad? No. You're not mad? No, I'm just tired of this. You're just what? Tired of this. Oh, what? 
Of another girl. Well, who said it's girl? You. What? They already told you to do the results. She's right here. Somewhere right here. No, it doesn't say anything. No. What if it's a boy? Well, I don't care if it's a boy or girl. No one. Oh, so I do. I don't know. Hmm? I don't know. So should I just give it away? No. Then? I don't know. Are you stressed right now? Yeah. Why did you tell me? Huh? Why did you tell me? Because I had to tell you. I didn't want to tell you to like rec I recorded your face. Like I wanted to see your expressions. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not. I'm not your, your prank. <laughs> not a prank. Of this? Yes. Okay, but this is my name. Where? On the. It's a prank. Mm -mm. So you're mad at me? I'm not mad at you. I'm just telling you why. Why what? Why would you? I don't know. It was an accident. Why? Because they wanted to be boy. Yeah. Okay, so tell me, what should I do? You, as my son, give me an advice. What should I do? I don't know. How do you know? Right. That doesn't help me. You are struggling with four. How? Why do you want fifth? But, like, how am I struggling? You guys are all fed. You guys are well changed. You guys are healthy. So what, what, do, what do we tell my people? Mm. That you're mad? No, I'm not mad. I'm just saying, why another one? Well, so we could be a bigger family. That's the last one. That better be the last one. <laughs> that better be the last one. Imagine it's twins. <laughs> So you wanted to, for it to be the last one? Yes, last one. No more brother or sister? No. That's it? Yes. You decide for me? Mm. I don't know. So you're disappointed? I'm not disappointed. I just want to say why would another one? Well, it just happened. God decided to have to give me another one. Which you want me to tell God? No. Um, can I don't want another one. Okay, well. I just wanted to let you know that you're gonna have another little brother or sister on September. How long has this time you had that? For five months and a half. Oh my god. What? I've been here for about two months and you've never been here. <laughs> and I haven't told you? <laughs> and I, 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 know, I can't have any. Huh? I can't, I can't have a nice sister. Okay, we'll just come and say bye. Never have kids. Bye. <laughs> okay, so that kind of went okay. I didn't think he was gonna take. Um, I didn't think he was gonna react this way. I thought he was gonna be more like. Um, I thought he was gonna cry or he was gonna be very very upset. But he took it kind of like chill. But I think it was because he was like already kind of already figured out like he would see my stomach like growing that i was getting weight and stuff like that but i'm glad i got that over with now that he knows and everyone knows um i feel so much relieved i feel like you know to me vino algo like me quite algo encima so that's 
so much better um so now how i found out i was pregnant so finding out i was pregnant with an iud it was like so shocking for us we were like no way like how you know like how is that possible blah blah, blah. i know that there's a stories that people come up pregnant like that but like me like i was one of them that's how fertile i am or what the heck happened so this is how okay so back to what i was talking about and telling you guys how i found out i was pregnant having the iud and how me and my boyfriend took it um on september of 2020 me and him have decided to get on birth control because from valentine and cloud did i was not on birth control so i came out pregnant super super fast um they were not planned babies so <laughs> that's fucked up to say but they weren't um so i came out pregnant with them and when we came out pregnant from cloud it was super like what the fuck how you know um it also happened really really quick um and um with this one we decided to start taking care of ourselves and i decided to go and get the iud on september of 2020 and on december of 2020 i guess i don't know something went wrong and i came out pregnant that's the time i conceived that i had that i came out pregnant so i didn't feel anything up to this day i still don't feel anything i don't have morning sickness my head never hurts um no se me antoja nada i don't want sweet stuff i don't want like let's say like no se me antoja nada pues i'm just a normal me um so like <laughs> i don't know okay so this is how i found out on the girl's birthday decided to celebrate their birthday in jesus maria which is where my mom was born um in sinaloa and um we got some tacos and we got like catering so agarramos una taquiza and me iba a comer unos tacos like ya tenía mi plato preparado y todo when i was about to sit down i'm looking at the quesadilla and i'm just like like oh like medio tanto asco i just got the plate and i told my boyfriend you want it because i don't want it and he was already eating so he's like no i don't want it so i took it with me and i was gonna throw it like I think I well, yeah, I threw it out and I went all the way to the back and I wanted to throw up. Um like pretty much I got a lot of ascos, like I just wanted to throw up. I was like, ugh, they were so disgusting. So that was one of the shit that I was like, what the fuck? Like I never get this. I'm never like with ascos or anything like that. And I'm the type of girls that since I know that I'm very, 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 very fertile, um, I always want to get um pregnancy tests done. So that same night um from the party at night i decided to i decided to i mean um we were about to go to sleep when i'm laying down and i like just keep in mind that i didn't eat anything um because me dieron ascos so cuando me voy a acostar me empieza como a revolver la panza so i started like feeling just sick and then i went to the restroom and i threw up yellow acids so pregnant girls at the beginning of the trimester of their yeah the first trimester um they throw up yellow acids or the second or the third trimester it doesn't matter it just empiezan a vomitar como muchos ácidos y amarillos and they're so disgusting like if you if you have kids and you've thrown up and you've had morning sickness and you know what i'm talking about you know exactly what i mean when i say they're disgusting like te dejan tu boca amarga like it's algo tan asqueroso no tengan hijos <laughs> So I threw up and that was it like that was the only time I ever threw up and that's it like that's it um and then so after that um ya me queda gusto so I was like okay I need to do a pregnancy test so before I left um Jesus Maria which is the ranch I went to the pharmacy in Culiacan and I got a pregnancy test and obviously I got it done and I I took it right there and I put it in my pocket but I didn't tell anyone I was taking the pregnancy test and then um so I just and went and laid down I mean I was just there with my grandma talking and then I remembered I was like oh shit didn't I get like I got the pregnancy test so then I decided to look at it and I peeped at it and I saw that it said pregnant my heart 
dropped and I told my grandma like no pinches mames <laughs> that's what I actually said and my grandma was so loud because we were actually having like a conversation but then I just like decided to peep at the thing and it said pregnant and I was like so like the first thing I did was run to my boyfriend and I told him like like I showed him because he was the only one that knew that I had bought a pregnancy test and I showed it to him and he was like like he didn't believe it he was in denial he didn't believe it at all whatsoever and I was like how like you know like obviously we were like what the fuck like the first thing we did was to start to take care of ourselves so we won't have like accidents um and I come up pregnant in February so I found out so that's how it went when I did find out um so yes I was shocked and we were like what the fuck but at the same time I felt so happy like it was like something so pure like I feel like oh my god like I have a baby inside of me like I've been pregnant many 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 times but I never felt so like happy like this because I don't know I feel like maybe it was because I knew I was taking care of myself and then God decided to give me another blessing when he knew me and him were not like me and my boyfriend were deciding like we didn't have that plan we didn't want to have kids at this time like we were ready to like just stop for the moment and god just decided to be like you know what you guys are ready to have another kid or you guys are gonna have another kid and that's maybe why i got so happy from my end like i just felt so happy um ever since i got pregnant i've been so calm so chill like i haven't fought with my boyfriend since the longest and I'm the type of person that me and him, I mean, everyone has arguments, but we haven't even argued in a long time, which that um, is a good thing. So that's how I found out. So that's when I took the pregnancy test. So when I came back to my home, um, I decided to go to my doctor and I knew I was pregnant because of the symptoms and then the pregnancy test but you know you're never gonna be so 100% sure till you go and do an ultrasound and stuff like that so I told the girl the the doctor and I was like you know what I feel like I'm pregnant my body feels like you know something's not right like I was having symptoms but I do have the Mir Mirena I think it's the Mirena IUD I had it for six years um keep in mind I did have this same birth control back in 2000. 11 when baby Monty was born so that's why Monty and Journey are six years apart because I did that was my birth control um but Journey was planned so I took it off and then I came out pregnant with Journey and then I just didn't like I just didn't take care of myself anymore so that's why I came out okay so point for your blank is that I did tell the doctor that I had the IUD and that I that I was having symptoms and that I took a, I took a pregnancy test that was positive so she told me that that she really really highly doubted that I was gonna be pregnant and she's like but let's check she's like so you have the mirror in she's like so you have a mirror in? and I was like yes I do she's like and you think you're pregnant I was like yes I do and then she's like okay why well, highly doubt it. so she I you know I take on my clothes from the waist down and then she starts doing ultrasound and I was gonna think that the first thing that was gonna pop to my head was I'm going to see like a little bean like this like you know when they're like really really small Tell me why when she started doing the ultrasound, it was big already. It was like like this. Like this is the first picture we got from it. And we're like, what the fuck? Like it's a big. So I was like, how far how far along am I? And she's all like, you actually very far along. And I was like, what the fuck? So I was more shocked. Like, how the fuck did I not know? You know? So I had no symptoms or anything. So like that one only that one day that um i had the girl's birthday party so i'm gonna show you guys a video right here of how like the first thing she did was point the little um ultrasound and it was so big so we were like well my boyfriend couldn't go in because of the whole covid thing so me and the doctor were like what the fuck like that shit's big well that shit it doesn't sound right but the baby was so big we're like dude like how far along how far along am i so at that time i was 10 weeks and five days 10 weeks and five days and I was even more shocked I was like what the fuck like what was I already like 
four, eight, twelve, like almost three months. So I pretty much found out when I was three months pregnant that I was gonna have another kid. So at the same time, it's make it's made my pregnancy so much easier. In the in the fact like that, I don't have to wait for such a long time. You know, when you're pregnant, for those of you who are already moms, you feel like when you're pregnant, it's like such a long journey and such a long way like you know you have to wait and then the third trimester is the longest so i'm already finally well when i found out i was already gonna enter my second trimester so it's been you know pretty fast um i am due on september 20 this this year 2021 and yeah um that's how i found out i was pregnant i found out when i was almost three months pregnant I'm still shocked like I'm still like how like how the fuck did I come up pregnant again okay. um, but I wanted to ask you guys something since I was taking care of myself you know I was on birth control comment down below what do you guys think it was good luck or bad luck like eso fue buena suerte o fue mala suerte haber salido embarazada con aparato porque like no sé no sé, no sé ni qué pensar porque obviamente pues no estaba, no estaban en mis planes de otro hijo ahorita. Um, la verdad ahorita se me ha estado, para ser sinceros con ustedes, se me ha estado haciendo tan difícil con las niñas porque Claudette, no, I mean, Valencia y Journey pelean mucho. Pelean mucho, pero obviamente son hermanas y quieren mucho, pero así pues obviamente se lo van a empezar peleando porque son casi de la misma edad. Pero... Cuando les digo que Claudia es peleonera, like, oh my god. Esa niña, lo más es buena para echar chingazo, like, siempre está lista para meter un chingazo, like, es muy, like, she's very rough, she always wants to hit, and ya camina, so she's everywhere, so si se me está haciendo un poquito más difícil, y más porque Claudia, Journey, I mean, Valentine todavía está chiquita, so todavía ocupa de mi atención. Bueno, todos ocupan de mi atención, y en Big Mountain. Um, todos ocupan de mi atención Pero como ellas están todavía más chiquitas Siempre van a ocupar un poquito más de mi atención so, Por eso Ahorita sí se me están poniendo muy difíciles las cosas Pero me trato de mantener um, Ocupada lo más que yo pueda Y gracias a Dios Me ha dado mucha paciencia Para cuidar de Todas mis niñas y mi niño Y pues le doy gracias a Dios De que pues me va a mandar otra bendición Like, la verdad todavía no lo puedo ni creer like, cómo fue que pude haber salido embarazada tan rápido tan luego, tan inesperado todos mis embarazos fueron shocking news Valentine fue super shock shocking like, apenas me he operado y salí embarazada so I was like oh my god like how you know I was so in denial um, con Claudia pues no se diga porque ella la tenía de tres meses cuando me enteré que estaba embarazada y it was super like what the hell like another baby And con este que viene, pues, like, ¿qué les puedo decir, no? Like, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But that is pretty much it. Um, that is how I found out I was pregnant. This is me telling my only boy, my oldest boy, that he is going to have another little brother or another little sister. And it's so... It was, it was, I was kind of nervous telling him, like, he was the only one that didn't know. But he kind of, like, already, like, smelled it, like, mm, there's something veggie, you know? But, yeah, that is pretty much it. I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you guys do want a video on how surgery and a tummy tuck and coming out pregnant at three months post-op, um, like, results or anything that has to do with that, um, please like this video and I will do a video about tummy tuck and pregnancy at three months of just getting work done so yeah that is pretty much it i hope you guys did enjoy today's video don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in the next video bye